Hey everyone, it's Tony and welcome back to Sold Freaks. So we're here for another episode of Sold Look. Now for this episode, we're going to be looking at my first ever Air Jordan Retro High sneaker. So most of my Air Jordan ones are low top sneakers. So for this episode, it's my first high top Air Jordan 1. So before we proceed, I already did a unboxing of this sneaker from my previous episode, my top 5 pickups from 2021. So if you haven't watched that episode yet, I attached the link down below in the description and feel free to do so as well as Howie's top 5 from 2021. Now to proceed, we are going to be looking at another edition of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High sneaker colors which is the dark marina blue okay now let's go for the packaging first so for the packaging of course we have the pair of the sneaker so right pair left pair so the package also comes with two extra lace we have the black one and a white one so you can choose whether to retain the blue one or use any of the extra laces provided now if it asks me i'd retain the blue one because it fits better well at least from my perspective it fits better on the sneaker well you can consider the black one since the majority part of the sneaker are or is darker so i think the black one is the second choice just in case that you want to change the lace white one not so much at, well, at least for this colorway, not so much. Alright, so let's go for a quick background on the colorway of this release. Now, the dark marina blue. So the first question you'll be asking here is, is this a version 2 for the royal blue colorway? Now, the answer for that is partly yes. Now, yes, at the same time, Nike and Jordan did some small updates in regards on the design on the sneaker. So the first difference here is, or the first small update that they did is the placement of the color. So the design of the dark marina blue is solely based on the shadow 2.0, the pollen, and the university red. So you can see that this is the blue version of that batch, which is, you know, a good collection for those who are collecting, you know, sets of uh, sneakers. So give it a shot. Now at the same time, Another small update that they did for this is the shade of the color. So when you look at the royal blue and the dark marina blue side by side on a first glance, you'll see that there's no difference in terms of their color blue. But if you look closely, the dark marina blue has a bit of a darker tone on the blue shade. Now that's why they put the word dark in the colorway because of that matter. Now for because of that, they did not go for the name Royal Blue 2.0 just because of that small change on the shade of the color blue on the tone itself. So maybe one of the reasons behind that is they just want to have a separate uh, identity for the sneaker itself. So who knows when the low top and mid top for this one will be releasing and we don't know what kind of design that it will be following. Will it follow the Poland route? Or will it have its own version of low tops and mid tops without you know changing much of the placement of the color so we will be seeing that in the future and hopefully we can okay, get so it. moving forward now so the design of the sneaker as i mentioned was based from the recently released shadow 2.0 poland colorway and university red colorway and not from their classic predecessor so again new batch coming in so that's good now let's go to the materials for the sneaker itself so the upper portion of the sneaker so from the lateral side going to the medial side of the sneaker it's synthetic leather so all around the sneaker is synthetic leather and of course we have the classic double stitching for most corners of the sneaker itself we have the Air Jordan logo by the collar area and we also have the toe box and we have the heel counter the high top heel counters which will for those high top uh, users who are used to this would love because at the same as i mentioned the synthetic leather very soft and the cushion inside the collar is very comfortable so again this is my first uh high top sneaker so 
mostly it's uh, like a first time uh, first time for me yeah so we have the classic tongue of the Air Jordan we have the Nike Air logo on top and the trademark tag behind the tongue so I think most Air Jordan 1 high top have this one compared to the lows and mid cuts I think they don't have the trademark on the tongue area or at least they don't have any trademark portions in the tongue area so moving on to the midsole so we have here a clean white midsole with single stitching at least for now it's clean because like I said this is a sneaker we have to wear this uh, how many times no matter what it has to do its job <laughs> Now, we have the outer sole. So, the outsole here, we have the classic Air Jordan 1 pattern here. Uh, the tread pattern here. So, nothing changes there. It has the same uh, traction, traction pattern. And at the same time, it's very simple. The Nike logo. Alright, now let's go for the sizing and the fit. Now, if you already own any Air Jordan, whether it's a low cut, mid cut, or even high top, it is safe to go for your true to size because there is no difference between the sizing of any of those variants for the Air Jordan 1. Now, if your foot is narrow or regular, go to your TTS. But if your foot is wide, I do suggest to go a half size up for the sneaker. But it's better to go for a physical store and personally try to fit it. Because it's very important to choose the right size for the sneaker, especially for the spacing while wearing the sneaker. Now, for the cushion and the fit. So, the collar area right here gives the heel area the best comfort and best lock while wearing the sneaker. Now, at the same time, such as myself, a first-time user for the high-top sneaker, especially the Air Jordan 1, there's going to be that small adjustment phase where you'll be feeling most of the color area while walking. So at first, it may be irritating for first-time user, but you'll get used to it. So it's better to use it not just once, not just twice. Use it as many as you can. So you can, you know, consider high tops for your collection in the, in the future. All right, so this part of the video, I guess the big question here is, is this worth it to buy? Now, I've been reading in the internet or in social media that the dark marina blue isn't as popular as it is should be. And some of the reason behind that is because of its resale value. Now, if you're into sneakers for the resale purposes, I guess it's not. So, thank you for that, I guess. But if you're a collector of Air Jordan 1, especially the high top, this is definitely a good buy because you know it's going to add up to your collection and who knows what kind of other color blue colorway will it release so I guess uh, for me since this is my first one uh, I guess it's a good buy for me my first ever high top for Air Jordan 1 because I'm more of a low top guy as you can see in my collection right here so if you know you're into high tops this is definitely a good buy because of the materials the comfort that it offers and basically there's nothing wrong with the sneaker so i'm not sure why it's not popular among uh, others but i guess for those actual collector or actual sneaker user i do hope that you consider buying this now on as of this moment actually i can still see some sizes available in park access or titan or even the nike app or in sneakers app so try to have a look and try to consider this because it's very comforting. I mean, again, there's nothing wrong with the sneaker for this not to be noticed by sneaker heads out there. So give it a shot. All right, so that's it for this episode. So thank you everyone for taking the time to watching this video. I do hope that this helps you in considering the Air Jordan 1 Dark Marina Blue into your collection. So... Again, before we end the video, I would like to thank everyone and please don't forget to subscribe to our social media website. We have Instagram and Facebook. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and more sneaker reviews and sneaker tips. So again, this is Tony from Soul Freaks. Stay safe out there, follow protocols, and please take care of yourself and keep moving forward.